Hi all. Today I am going to deal with gastrointestinal infection. Maybe you people say, not maybe, you people say have heard about the term like infection. What do you mean by infection in the sense? Any of the antigen which will enter into a body, your body have the WBCs. WBCs is nothing but white blood corpus cells. These white blood corpus cells which will fight against the antigen or else the white blood corpus, corpus cells have some antibodies. These antibodies will fight against the antigen. That is nothing but antigen antibody reaction. If when the antigen antibody reaction will occur, that time the infection will occur or the infection or the inflammation will progress. Now I am going to say gastrointestinal infection. You people should remember in your mind that any of the pathogen or any of the antigen which will enter into your body, that time only the infection will progress. So you people should remember in your mind this one. Then I am going to continue what is gastrointestinal infection. Gastrointestinal infection in the sense, if any of the antigen which will enter into your gastrointestinal tract that you people also know that gastrointestinal gastrointestinal tract in the sense it will start from the mouth till the anus any of the pathogen which will enter into a mouth then it will start to move then from the mouth it will reach into the anus that time there is a chances of creating the Industrial infections mainly the pathogens which will enter into the in intestine that time there is a chances of getting the intestinal infection so mainly the gastrointestinal infection will occur through the fecal oral route when you people are going to have have the food with unwashed hand and you people are going to have the food which are kept in an open vessel in an open area you people are going to consume it that i mean all there is a sense of getting the intestinal infection so please remember in your mind that you people should not eat the food with your unwashed hand and open food open vessel food i am sure that you people are not going to consume that so you have to aware for your some of the neighbors and your friends and all. don't consume the food with your unwashed hand as well as the open vessel why the open vessel in the sense the some of the flies will come and sit it over the food and there is a sense of spreading the infection understood then now i'm going to say regarding the epidemiological factor for the gastrointestinal infection Gastrointestinal infections epidemiological factor in the sense it will change. It will be various. Why? Because gastrointestinal infections are various. Like uh, dysentery is there, cholera is there, diarrhea is there. Like that some of the cases are related with or some of the cases are nothing but the subtopics of gastrointestinal infections. So... So, the Asian factor also will be various. Like uh, cholera, you people. Sorry. Cholera, you people also know the Asian factor that is nothing but Vibrio cholerae. Like that, it will vary from the. the according to the cases. The Asian factor will vary according to the cases. In the epidemiological triad, the nest is nothing but the host factor. Host factor, you people also, you people can say that children is children are more susceptible. Why? Because the children, they are going to be played play with the mud and all. Then directly they will come and they are, they are going to consume the food. And it's like that they are going to be do because of that. The mother is not going to be care for their children. 100% this one is going to be occur. But nowadays everyone are uh, care, careful regarding their children and all. So nowadays the cases is going to be decreases I think. Then 
that is uh, children are more more susceptible then the female and male are more susceptible when they are going to be living in a lower or poor socio economic background then the next step is nothing but the person who are maintaining the the person who are maintaining lower personal hygiene or else the person who having lack of personal hygiene these people are also susceptible to get the diseases like intestinal infections and all next step is nothing but environment environment in the sense you people are going to have the food from open or rot side tails that time there is a chances of getting the intestinal infection and open air defecation open air defecation also will increase the chance of intestinal infection then the person who are eating the uncovered food i already said that these are nothing but the the they are the susceptible susceptible to get the diseases like intestinal infections the signs and symptoms like abdominal pain diarrhea vomiting fever these are nothing but the signs and symptoms for the intestinal infections next is nothing but the lab diagnosis in the lab diagnosis we can diagnose with a wide al test blood culture at least you people scan to the blood culture then the next one is treatment treatment you people scan related with your signs and symptoms already i said fever will be there so you people scan take antipyretics then i said pain will be there abdominal pain will be there so you people scan take the analgesics then i said infection will be there so you people scan take like anti inflammatory drugs like that diarrhea will be there then you people scan take the anti diarrheal drugs then vomiting will be there so you people can take the anti emetics like that you people can continue the drugs for the intestinal infections thank you